Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more solo leveling with the me. We're solo leveling a new update, which, uh, to my understanding, uh, there's a new title, Demon Slayer title. People were asking about that last time, and we're, we're getting it, so, huzzah. Uh, there's also, also a new meant to be boss on the 50th floor, so we're gonna go take a peek at that and see what's going on there. Because apparently if you beat him, there's a necklace and an orb to get off him. So, one increases stats, and one just doubles your, your magic output. So, yeah, I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I'd like to go acquire that. Uh, level 64, halfway level 65. We're, we're in pretty good shape in that. I mean, I should probably should go fix my dagger before I go anywhere. But I think that, like, we're in pretty good shape. I think we might be a... Oh, I... Uh, I fully recognize the fact I probably can't beat Tusk on my own, and thus I probably am going to struggle with this. But whatever, I want to go see about getting a hold of these items. But what I do? So, do, 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 do. what to do, what to do. Oh, actually, we got our titles last time as well, didn't we? Uh, titles. Uh, Golem Slayer. I do have to debate whether I want Golem Slayer or Goblin Slayer, because Goblin Slayer gives 10% uh, dodge chance. Golem Slayer gives. Plus five health. I don't know what that means though. Is the only thing. I don't, I don't know how big an impact that is. Like it's not five extra five health as in like an extra two and a half hearts or anything. So I don't know. I don't know if it's just a plus maybe a plus five to my vitality score. Or like a, a, like a, as if it was that. Whereas ten percent to my dodge chance. I don't know how big that is either. I don't know how much dodge chance I currently have with thirty two Julie. Is that a huge amount? Like compared to what I already have? I don't know. Lots of blah. Yeah, either way. Right, uh, yeah, let's try about fixing our dagger really quick, though. Because that'd be a smart thing to do. I have not got a lot of habits for this. Okay. Then we combine Old Night Killer with New Night Killer. 33 levels. Fucking hell. So expensive. <laughs> I mean, it's not that surprising it's expensive, but still, it's kind of insane. Okay, uh, other thing I'm gonna put... Can I put Pierce? No, I can't put Piercing for in. That's unfortunate. Why can't I put Piercing for on you? Why is that not allowed? Can I put it on the X? No. Wait, is that crossbow's Piercing for? It probably is. It probably is not my luck. Okay, whatever. I thought getting Piercing first likely there was going to be Asha, but never mind. Uh, Litting. Oh, I put Litting on my blade. God. It just, it just says too expensive straight away. <laughs> Look, whatever you're planning to do, don't think about it. You're not getting it done. <laughs> Doesn't matter what your plan is. It's for a crossbow. Yeah, I figured it probably would be since it wasn't wanting to go on. That's a shame. Darn. There being two skills with the exact, or two enchantments with the exact same name. <laughs> it's an easy way to trip you up and have you waste your stuff. Ah, oh, the blah. Okay, let's get the show on the road, shall we? Uh... Demon Castle. So, we'll pop over here. Oh, yeah! Hold on! No! No, we don't want to pop over here. Over here is terrible. Because this is the over here that's like where we live. And the only area where we live is up a fucking clip. No, 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 no. We need to go back. Damn, I need to wait for the kill down. Alright, I'm going to slay some demons really quick. Wait, are there potatoes again? Yes! Three potatoes! Yes. Oh, I love the fact it does that. It, like, it shouldn't do that, but it does. It's, it's always great. It makes a copy of the area you're currently in. Items and stuff. Creates a rundown version of it. For me, though, it just grants me free potatoes every time I jump between these dimensions. It's, uh, it's amazing. Right, we are currently on floor 90. Uh, so that's the thing. The demons here are on the higher levels. AK level, what are you, 87 or something? Are you 37? Hey, what level are you? Oh, you're with 30. Oh, you're with E1. Get out of here. I'm back on floor one again. Ooh, we're back on floor one because I left and we joined. Burn. Oh, yeah, I should be really spamming my fire attacks a bit more. Is that another deep? No, feck off. I don't want to deal with you as well. Wait, that's 70 EXP. Wait, what? Huh? That's not right. 
He shouldn't be giving that much, should he? No, I don't think so. Pretty sure he's like 78 is way too much. No, he used to give 40 at level 37. These are level 37. That wasn't level 87, was it? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> never mind then. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. So I want to get a better location. Doop ba doop. Go from here, cause this is a way flatter-ish area with water nearby and blah blah blah. Go. It's song kill town again. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Where am I? Please don't be. I was gonna say please don't be in a building. <laughs> really suck if I was in a building right there. Uh, would have been real awkward there if I was in a building. Because I literally cannot get out. Right, we are currently back on the first floor. We need to go up to floor 50 and defeat whoever the boss there is. I don't know if unlocking the boss means clearing the quest or what, but whatever. What? In the water. How many games do you have at the moment? For D&D? &D? Uh, there's the main game I'm handling. There is the uh, In Mo's Away game, solo leveling. There's the Demon Away game. Of it's meant to be Hunter X Hunter. I I demons away today in our case didn't respond, but like I don't know if Aaron's got stuff for to actually do more of that or what. Then there's Aaron away game, which is Easter Kites. There's Arcanus away game, which is Jutsu Kites, which we haven't done yet because Arcanus hasn't been away at a point when the others have still been here. So like we have a bunch of games prepped for when people are missing, basically. Is the idea we've gone for. Because then we can consistently play, which I will handily being like the main one where everyone's together. It gets the no one's missing. Well, uh, yeah, I'm getting the XP for uh, these guys being higher level than what they are. No, he, he is level 94, never mind. Holy fuck, he's destroying me. Don't just stand there, burn him. Oh, oh. oh god, okay, they, 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 they got their level up again. They're, they're back to normal. Maybe I did miss reading. Maybe it was 87 that entire time. Set Demon Castle floor. For me. 50. Now. Becomes my question. The fuck do I do? <laughs> How do I find the boss? Is he just here on the floor somewhere? Or... Is he supposed to appear when you complete the 49th quest? It's like the inside of this being so much newer. I, I don't know what I'm ever doing. Uh, there's maybe a boss out there. He has a spawn egg. It is right there. I don't know what he looks like though. I'm, assume, I'm assuming it's the soul leveling boss from the actual thing, but even then, I, I, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Hold on. He'll spawn once you get to the 100th floor. No, not him. Different one. Different boss. New boss get added in. There's a new 50th floor boss. This is the one I'm looking for. I'm not going for the 100th floor boss. He will destroy me. <laughs> I'm going for the 50th floor boss, because he's going to give me the Order of Avarice, or whatever it's called. Which is a fantastic item doubling my output. So. We'll see, we'll see. Also, oh yeah, these guys have gotten, what, 20 levels lower? Because of that? Because the average level goes up for every, like, two floors you clear? Ha! Huh. Right, uh, so I want to do... See, I made the gamble here, because if I clear the 50th floor quest, there's a chance that I'll just go up to the 51st floor and that'll be it, whereas I'll turn and go to the 49th floor quest, do that, and I arrive on the 50th floor and see the boss spawns. Didn't know the mod had an update. Yeah, I did, like, I think it was, like, yesterday or something. This is why I'm here, having a go with it. Basically, the, the boss is essentially could drop a whole bunch of cool stuff, so that's why I want to go do it. Because it gives you an item boost thing, uh... A booster item, basically. They'll increase your, like, everything a little bit. It gets most, it's supposed to increase your, what your stats give you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that gives me the orb. Which is the main thing I want. Because I really want that orb. I'm a mage. <laughs> the orb doubles my damage output. It's amazing. I really, really want it. Imagine me dealing double damage with an orb. Alright. Problem becomes, though, yeah, do I have to complete the... Collection quest, because if I just have to cut, uh, beat this quest, this is going to take a while. This is not a simple quest. <laughs> well, it is a simple quest, it's just it's a simple quest that takes a lot of time. Because these demons don't go down quickly. Now, I'm not a necromancer with an army of minions to quickly trash through people. 
but it, plus I'm on my own. That demon with me were a bit quicker because I, I could hit someone he was fighting. And then that would still count as my kill when you killed it. Alright, what's the best thing about this? I could just summon the boss using a spawn egg. Because it's either that or I fight against like 50 other opponents again and again and again. It's like, yeah, I can do it. But it's going to take me like two hours. <laughs> just sheer grind. Ugh. Problem is, if I do it that way, then I don't know the summoning conditions if I'll ever get them properly, so. Oh, what to do? God, we go through food so quickly. Look out for titles. Oh, yeah, it's a Demon Slayer title, but I think for that, you also need to beat the 50 floor boss. <laughs> there's this Demon Slayer title you get when you beat the 50, the 50 floor boss. So, yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot to gain from this boss. I just don't know how to get them, is the thing. So, there's that. Yeah, it's not like you get the, the title from beating the demons. It's, you literally need to beat the boss for that, too. Which, honestly, that one kind of makes sense. Like, you beat, uh, getting the title by getting to a certain floor and, you know, beating a boss. Makes sense. I, I can see that as a way of, you know, you get this title for it. But, I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming at our boss, basically. So it's a really good thing to go and hunt him. I mean, sure, you got to beat 5,000 demons in order to get to him. In a game where that's gonna take a really long time. <laughs> Main character could kill a demon in a few strikes. We are never getting to that stage. <laughs> kind of quickly, I'm beating these guys. Seems kind of quick compared to you know the day uh, floor, but they'll take them well. Plus, everyone's all spread out. My magic's better for handling groups. But anyways, uh, there's some bits while I uh, try to team this level up. So demons making a game. And his idea is to try and get all six people involved, which I don't know how that's going to work, because time-wise, that's going to be a whole kafuddle. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, I, I, I genuinely don't know if that's going to be possible, just because of the time zone issues, but we'll, we'll see if it works then awesome. But yeah, uh, I started looking at the system, and I started looking at character stuff. I feel like, yeah, this is a character I could probably go into the whole Scottish aspect of myself a bit more in for. Go a proper Scotsman. Yeah, I'm going to go Brit in that one. Uh, <laughs> go and fill Brit, fill Scotland. I mean, you could spawn the boss so that you uh, get a title and orb, and then complete the 100 demon quest. Orb and title. Troll! Could get the boss first and then do the quest after. At that point, I'll have double firepower. I'll beat these guys way quicker. Also, I don't know what the uh, what the title and everything grants, so there is that too. Get out of here! All right, how close are we to level up? All right, let's, let's get a level up really quick because we're so close to it, and then we'll yeah, I'm gonna gonna spawn the boss in the fat one. I'm assuming it's the fat demon that's the boss. Like, I'm assuming it's him. I don't know for sure. I haven't spawned him in, seen him yet. About two in a second though. All right, let's get this out of the way. You leveled up. There we go. So, three more points than intelligence. <laughs> oh yeah, we got Golem Slayer on. Kill, okay, okay, kill, right. Let's give this a try then. Let's see what the effect's happening. So, Bloodonk. Give. Also, we'll see if this even counts because I'm spawning him in. But I wanna, yeah, I wanna see where I'm fighting him. My intent is to get him one way or another. I still want to spend the several hours required for it. <laughs> so, Alright, here we go. Bodonk. Uh, yeah, it's a big lad. Yolo! Human's so dark, I can barely see him. I do, I do kind of wish the demon out. I, I get why it's so dark, but like, I can't wish it was a bit lighter. <laughs> it's so dark. Yeah, it's like this guy. I recognize this guy. Oh, I've already took a chunk of his health. What level is he? Level 60 is lower is weaker than the demon guards. The fuck? Having no bother with him. I mean, okay, I'm having no bother with him because I fought him in water, which makes him insignificantly easier. I, mean, I really just want to get rid of you right now. Get out of here. Alright, hold on. Yeah, dude, let's go up on the surface really quick. I mean, it's hard to fucking see you because of the lack of light and all that. Yeah, you know. I think with all the fire and that, it'd be a bit brighter in this realm. It's just an eternal night realm. 
Oh no, not another thing. So you stay away. Fire blades. Oh wow, yeah, dude, you're like, okay, you hit kinda hard, but like. Oh, that one missed. I didn't even hit you at that point with my blades. Yo! That was a thing. <laughs> How much XP I get from that? I did get Demon Slayer though. Increase max mana by 10%. Yo! No. Oh. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. The fuck? Okay, so he does just drop the orb, which is what he can only drop in the, uh, in the manga. He gives you the tail, demon slayer tail, which... Yes. <laughs> I do enjoy having more mana. The orb. Boost magic power by 100%. Yeah! Okay, I no longer have a regeneration property that was the only thing. <laughs> But on the flip side, look how quickly I'm decimating this guy. <laughs> Who drops necklace? I actually don't know then. I thought he did. The update says, add a demon slayer title that can be obtained by killing the boss in the 50th floor of the demon castle. This new boss does drop the magic orb. Added necklace that buffs mana, direct damage, and health. Okay, so it doesn't say that it's dropped from the boss though. I think in the, uh... In the manga, the boss did drop that because there was one that dropped the necklace, one that dropped the earring, one that dropped the ring. But the demon lord being the one that get, or the demon king being the one that dropped the ring. Check if the orb works. Just being in the inventory. I need to go back home for that. Oh, I lost my life drain, but kind of worth it. The dummy is an entity. Like, could you spawn, place it in a room? I mean, I could. But I've got one side at home. It'd be a bit, it'd be very nice, just you know, spawning in a new one like that. Oh, but I don't. Okay, well, now I've got a debate whether I even want the extra 10% mana, because my mana is doubling at double damage. So effectively, you know, I don't need to do as many attacks now. So in theory, I should be saving mana. Blah, blah, blah. But still, that's a really good, that's a really good benefit, especially for when I want to use the higher level magic, because the higher level magic costs so much. Dump by dumb. Look at them. Look at them getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, It's orb. It's insane. I mean, it was insane in the show. It was the whole point of the orb. All right, let's try and figure out what the fact this necklace is then. So, where are we looking? Um, yeah, maybe blind because I don't see it. Oh, I freaking thought that was a shield. <laughs> I thought that was a huge. Okay, there they are. There they are. There they are. Okay. Oh, it's three different ones. Okay, so it's not one necklace boosting everything. It's three different things. I thought it was a freaking shield sitting there. Okay, so we've got one boost your mana by five percent. Must be an inventory. Just, just this in inventory. Okay. Uh, boost health by ten points and boost direct damage by five points. Okay. And they have no crafting recipes. Are they in the shop? Oh, they're in the shop. Ah. How expensive are they? 3,000. Well, I'm rich. I have literally no use for money, so... <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, so this one boosts your mana by 5%. So literally my mana jumps from 809 to 845. I don't know by boosting mana, though it means it's going to boost just my mana amount, or where it also boosts my mana damage. I'll have something to test as well. Direct damage going up, pretty useless for me in particular, because, you know, I'm not a marshal, but whatever. That's still insane in its own right, because, you know, damage is good for the marshals. This help at 10 points, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. The tail, because the tail was only boosting it by 5. And it was like, okay, I mean, that compared to, like, the dodge chance, it's, compar it's comparable where you'd want that or not. But, I mean, the necklace is just free. It's set in your inventory for extra health. You can have all of them. Stang. Questions do they stack? They appear to. Like, if I put this one up and back down, it doesn't really take away my mana. So, I'm assuming they stack, so I'm getting 5% more mana. So. As in a second iron necklace. Okay, I'm assuming that doesn't work. But I am going to try that. <laughs> You spill your net. I, I assume that won't work. I have to assume that won't work. But I do want to try that. That is a good question. 
And I do have literally no use for money most of the time. I will have to go get money after this. Because, you know, running a bit low on the funds now. But okay, uh, where is it? Boost mana by 5%. Bye. Uh, it did not go up. Yeah. They do not stack. I didn't think they would. They gotta try it though. Well, they're saving someone 2900. <laughs> it's gonna save someone some money anyway. I'm gonna get over to the lights so I can see for a really Yeah. 845. Toss the two necklaces out. It's up to thing. Yeah. It's about what I expect. I, I didn't expect them to stack because that'd be, that'd be absurd. Right, okay. Right now, I just have a whole different degree of power in the playroom. <laughs> I think I, I, I want to head back. So I can test the dummy, but I also kind of want to complete the, the quest to see if the boss did spawn at the end of the, uh, end of the thing. Okay, so these necklaces, they aren't the, uh, the ones you get from the demon quest thing. They're just magic items. Boosting your stats and stuff is an extra thing to buy. So that's a thing. Okay. I thought it was going to be for because it was all the demon quest stuff. I thought we were getting the demon quest one. <laughs> AKA, like, you added that in, and maybe it was going to add, like, the E ring and the, the Demon King's ring and stuff in. No, it's absurdity. All the best of stats that the, uh, the main character got. Okay, apparently we're not going that deep down the rabbit hole at this point. But, I mean, yeah, we just got three necklaces that gave us a bunch of boosts. I'm not going to complain. More health is never a bad thing. I do wish to find that one, but honestly, I don't see a downside to having that over the other ones, given I'm a mage. Sadly, it doesn't increase my mana regen rate, having higher mana. It just means I have to wait longer for my mana pool to regenerate. <laughs> or if it is regenerating higher, it's, us. It, it, it's not very noticeable. Like, I don't, I don't think my mana is recovering any quicker. I'm pretty sure it's one per every little bit. Ugh. I think that's a black hole there. <gasps> Now here's a question. Does my magic stack if I use the staff and the orb? I'm going to assume maybe. That one may actually be possible. And that is definitely something I want to check. Of course, it comes with the downside right now of, uh, yeah, I can't... I can't reach in my hearts. So we being on my own, I can't tank as easily. That's what I did before. <laughs> ah, the bar. Yeah, I'm getting destroyed here. I need to actually hit me late. So I can knock people back. And there's another one. Oh, God. Ugh. Back away. Firestorm. There we go. Fucking hell. Oh, bumping into more and more demons was not advantageous there. I like to stick to fighting the big chunky ones. They're way easier to take down. I can get more XP. But mainly... Okay, so the sword ones are so much quicker. Which is very... It doesn't work as well for me. Because these ones, I've got a dagger with knockback. I can just knock them back. And then they don't really hurt me. One time, Gingy likes knockback. This is the... Like, I, I figured it into my, my thing now. Like, I mean, I've kind of had to. The reason I didn't want knockback because it made killing everything so slow. And, like, in dungeons a lot of the time, it's not advantageous because it knocks enemies away. When I'm trying to, like, you know, crit them. To end them very quickly. Uh, but yeah, in here, okay, yeah, it means I'm not ending them quickly, but since I'm now relying on my firepower to do most of my damage anyway, it's not as big a deal. Because, like, yeah. I knock them back, it gives me time to use my fireball. Then my fireball does way more damage. Oh, here we go. Hello! Hello, little demon. Get back. See, this is what I'm saying. I can't knock these guys back as well. Too bad the fighting mod you put in made the spear non dual wieldable. So you can't hold the orb and the spear would not pack. Eh, I probably wouldn't anyway. I like having the night killer because it's piercing. For the extra damage. I know, yeah, I get as a mage, I probably would be better off with the, uh. I'd be better off using other stuff. Probably. But oh well. Okay, also, hold on. I've got 431 experience. Quest cleared. I got 57. What? Oh, it does spawn him. Oh, cool. That answers that question, then. Feck, I'm dying here. Ugh. 
Yeah, try and get me now, fecker. Okay, so solar clear. How to summon him? Beat the 50th floor, and he shall appear. <laughs> True. Also, he's still quite quick even in the water. Which is fine, because I have long range attacks. Also, I was, I was currently injured there, so I really wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, here's a fire attack. Oh, cool. Dude, I had no idea you had that, because I don't think you used it the entire last time we fought. Anyway, job done. 91 XP. Another herb. Let's test our things now. So, I'm going to take this off. There's the thing. I'm going to take my mana boosters off. I'm going to fire my attack. I do 108 damage. If I pick these back up. What did that just do? Also 108. Okay, so these are just surely boosting my mana amount. Which, yeah, it's free. Never a bad thing. Uh, kill. So if I have this orb then. Didn't see the number there. Ah, there it is. 260 <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Just what we like to see. Just what we like to see. Oh, the but yeah, and I also confirmed that being in my, uh, just in my inventory does not affect things. Uh, it has to be obviously in my hand, which I figured it would. But you know. Time with wand. Oh yeah, the wand. Alright, 216 was the score. This adds an additional 20% on top. Assuming it works. No. Okay, so at this point, you know, no, it's still turning 16. No. So, okay, uh, the orb overlaps the wand. The wand at this point is surely just so I can regenerate mana quicker. No, I would say. So, cool. That's fine. So, my slight downstairs right now, by, by myself, I don't have healing. So, my, my actual front line is annihilated. Uh, flip side though, I feel like I can start investing in other stats. <laughs> With this, uh, in my inventory, I'm essentially gaining two points in intelligence every time I level up. My level, my intelligence is already pretty high, so I'm not doing 216 per attack anyway. Like, I can probably start investing a bit more in my vitality. Then there's making potions. True, I guess. I should try that. I did grab two orbs for that. I'm S rank! I think I used to be S rank. I, they changed the S rank, you're not going to be level 65 for. Hold on. Uh, yeah, potion of mania. Or yes. Uh, they're potions of healing. Hold on, let's get let's get this thing out of the way. Give this a try. I've not tried making a mana potion up to this point, so it's the mana potions are something. Hey, it's working. Mana potions is one thing. The other other thing we we're still wondering about was the enchant ability magic charge, which I don't fucking know what that's all about. It's no crafting thing for it. I was about to say, wait, what can you be applied to? Weaponry, armor. Oh, what does this man do again? Look, it was said what it did. Ah, here we are. Mana potion. You get mana absorption level two for three minutes, but you get slowness for ten seconds, and you get a minus fifteen per speed. Uh, speed penalty, which I assume is the slowness for ten seconds. Which, as a mage, isn't as big a deal for me, because you know. If I'm drinking one of those, probably not going to be while I'm running from something, I'd hope. Hey, hold on, can you just be made into splash potions? Oh yeah, they can. Probably wouldn't, though. But okay, I'm going to, yeah, I need to go burn all the mana and see how, how this affects things. Dum -ba -dum. I do wonder how many casters and how many marshals that will be in a six-player D&D. &D. I can tell you that there will be zero casters. The type of game it is, it's not a what, it's not a typical Dungeons and Dragons game. Uh, it's using an like adapted 5e system, or it's a system that's adapted to 5e. It's, it was made up by our YouTuber basically though, uh, for a theme game. And the theme does not involve magic, I should say. Like, it doesn't really involve magic in classes and things. It involves instead a widespread of other things to flesh your character out. What theme is that? I can't say unless Demon is here to confirm it's okay to say. Because I don't know if he wants to keep it as a surprise thing or whether he's already said it out loud. So, <laughs> I'm keeping my mouth shut until, until, until Demon says something. 
Right. I am currently down 300 mana. I need to burn more of it. And we know how to do that. Biotics. Let's use all of our abilities one after another. Vital Needle. Flame Blade. Fire Storm. Fireball. Okay, now I'm down 600 mana. It's now a question because I don't want these bad boys lamps. Oh! Okay, so it like triples my mana regeneration rate. Or something like that, anyway. Gives me mana absorption too. My mana absorption is going quicker. My mana regeneration is going quicker. Okay, okay. I saw, I saw, I saw much better, right? Comparably to how much health I've got. Or how much uh, mana I've got. Boop do. Also shop. Sell crystals. I am poor now. Where are we going? It's over here. Into the village. Come on, game. I want to see high orcs or something. Mostly just want to see what happens if I blast them. Ba do 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 do. Let me in. We're like pulling our Matthiox. I don't know what that statement means. Did my brother do something in the when we did the Naruto Matthiox? Oh hey, undead. This should be a fun test. You guys are tanky. Eh, yeah, did like twenty odd percent. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling this. It's way better than way quicker. Can't wait for the great disappointment when you lose Fireball. I mean, at that point, we're basically done and we're just having fun, so... <laughs> I spent most of my adventure with it, giving it up at the very end, trying out some new stuff, and then we'll probably be ending anyway at that point. Wait until the one gets more updates. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too bothered. do ba do but I'm gonna put Golem Slayer back on for the extra health, because I don't have a healing factor anymore. I feel like extra health and extra vitality would be more useful right about now. But anyway, yeah, we're not gonna get a level up in a place like this, so I'm gonna leave now. But, like, yeah, good to see my firepower doing good work. Also, my mana dropped by... Was that, like, 70-something? I need to figure out what I'm gonna do the rest of today. What other things have I got to do in this mod? <laughs> What's left? What other stuff is there? I've done most of the stuff. There you go. I don't know. It's not a lot. Like, as far as I remember at this point, the last things I've got left to do are the Monarch of Frost and the Monarch of White Flames. I think I've pretty much done everything now. I've gotten everything. At this point, it's more of a waiting for the group to go do stuff. I think we're done. <laughs> well, I'll tell you others on to do the, the final fights. do ba I mean, that'll probably end up being the last stream of this, if that's the case. I mean, White Flame is just level 100 of Demon Tower. Yeah, we're already skipping the levels, so we're not we're not sitting here for, you know, 12 hours grinding out against demons. I refuse. <laughs> no, 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 instead, it's just, uh, we'll just, uh, it's just like it's different, like, it's fine. <laughs> Skip to the floor. Do the cool fight. Then move on with our day. Alright, well I think we're done with Soul Living for now then. So, well, until the others get here, which... I'm not entirely sure? When people are free for what? Uh, I know Demon's not free today. Uh, Tomorrow we might be doing D&D. &D. That depends on whether people are around and stuff. So... We'll see, but I know Emil and Demon are both off tomorrow, so there's a good chance we're doing D&D &D something. Uh, then I don't know when Demon goes back to work. There's a chance next week Demon might be about to do more of this. But yeah, we're going to have to find something else to start streaming soon. We can get other bits. I have to start streaming Naruto. Do bits in that. Right then, I guess. It's been a very short stream. But hey, we did the things we came to do. I think we're done with this for now. So anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Next time. I mean, there was an update. Wait, we did that. We fought against the Fat Demon. Tonight Demon's Bleach Mod. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about Bleach. I was going to say, if you're talking about Soul Leveling, we just did. That was what to do we were doing today. I think you missed that if that was the case. <laughs>
All right, anyway, so it seems like, yeah, we've done all the things we can do. So we're just going to wait on Demon Nellers to get here so we can do the last couple of bits with them, fight the Monarchs, and achieve our last bits. But yeah, it's some cool stuff in the mods. See what other updates happen. You know, once we finish up on this, we can let them all update some more and come back to it and build battle. But yeah, for today, though, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. We'll catch you all next time for some more of our solo leveling adventures. Go buy it from Bunny. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of our channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our lead members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey and Aiden is gone, and our Anbu member, Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Battle, battle, battle.